it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker at my desk. My glasses are glaring. <laughs> I just cleaned them. I put them on and I was like, whoa. So today's video is a little bit of a rant. Plus I have a very small haul. I had to uh, run an errand out on the other side of Cleveland. And I just happened to be close by the Savers. So, you know, I had to go in there. It's very chilly today. It's what, 22? Feels like 11? It's not as bad as it was this past week. We're going to be getting rain most of next week. And I think by Thursday, it's supposed to be like in the 50s. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. But I thought I would hop on here and give you a brief look at what I got. I have a little story. And let me start with what I got down here. <clears throat> so decided to go in there. You know, I never have an agenda when I go in the thrift store. I never have a, I am looking for this type of item or I am looking for this. I just go in and I see what jumps out at me and I grab it. So that being said, I did pick up, I've sold this before. This is called Artscape. Uh, it is a roll uh, of the window cling. So you can put it on your windows. I have it here in my office. <clears throat> and mine is just clear. It's got like a little of an iridescent. This one's more grays and browns, and it is a bamboo kind of design. But these uh, can go pretty well on uh, selling them online. So I think this is a close-up there of what it looks like. It looks a little more brown than it does on there. It looks a little more golden. But uh, this is covers a decent amount. This was only, let's see, 20, 34 by 36. And it was $3.99. I had a 20% off coupon, not coupon, but uh, you know, one of my stored rewards. So I used that. So I got 20% off, 20, 40, 60, 80. So this was just slightly over three. Now I got three of these. I left the other two on the floor. I saw this and I thought, wow, that's really pretty. I got looking at it. So it's wallpaper. I sell wallpaper border. I don't sell wallpaper, wallpaper very much. But I was looking at this and I could tell it was a more modern uh, design. So I got looking at it and it is made by, or for, should I say, where is it, where is it, where is it? Wallpaper Collection, Our House. They are a furniture store, A-R-H-A-U-S. So that tells me that it's expensive. So I looked up on eBay and could not find any of their wallpaper listed. I ended up doing just a basic Google search. This is how I do my research, by the way. Um, so I Google, I looked it up, see if there's any listed. No, there wasn't any listed. So I saw, are there any that were sold? Looked it up, none that were sold. Then I thought, at this point, I'll have to go outside of eBay, and I Googled it, and I actually went to the Our House, um, their website, and this wallpaper, not this particular one, but a usual wallpaper roll for them is like $124. So I knew I hit on something good. So I, when I saw our house, I just decided to get at the store. These were only $2.99. So I paid, what, $369 and then 20% off. So I got it pretty cheap and there was four rolls. One was open and it was a mess. You know what I should have done if I would have had half a brain now that I just thought of that, is I would have unrolled it and snapped a picture of it in the store just to get that picture, because I'm not gonna open these for pictures. Wallpaper borders, I will. If I have like a lot of three or four, I'll open one and lay it out, and then I'll explicitly put in there, one was open just for pictures. So I'm hoping to go online, find this. I believe it might be a past, like maybe one that's discontinued. So I'll keep researching, but it was made by uh, a place in York, Pennsylvania, which I don't know, there must be a lot of wallpaper made in Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania, because I see a lot of that on there. So uh, yeah, so this was definitely a good pickup. Uh, I'd like to find a picture online of it opened, but uh, this should do really well for me. So very happy with that. Uh, one of the other items I got that I thought was awesome, but I do not have it to show you because there's a story. <clears throat> so I uh, was looking around and uh, found this, and I'm sure you've seen them. It was a metal 
uh, plane, like a fighter plane that they used, like, you know, in World War I or World War II. Really nice, made completely out of metal, about this big and about this this long. Very nice, $6.99. So I immediately picked it up. I looked over it real good. Not, nothing was chipped. It was in pristine condition. So I was like, yeah, I know I could do a, uh, get a decent amount for this. So I, I put it in my cart. <clears throat> I was walking around and an older gentleman came up and he's like, oh, oh, that's so cool. Can I look at it? So I handed it to him and he's looking at it and he's telling me uh, he used to be a pilot and he's like, oh, was this in the toys? I said, no, it was over by like the home decor. It's just meant to look nice. And he's like, oh, wow, wish, wish I would have seen that. So I made an executive decision. He had by then handed it back. I had set it in the cart. I picked it up and I said, here. And he looked at me like, I said, you get it. And he's like, oh, no, 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 I couldn't. That's yours. You picked it out first. You got there, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I said, no. I said, I'm a reseller. And he said, a what? I said, I buy things to resell. I said, I sell online and I also have a uh, booth at an antique mall and I resell things. So I was going to resell this. But since you like it so much and, and, and I know you would really enjoy it, I really want you to have it. So he was pretty busted up by that. And he's like, oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. I couldn't believe you did that. And I said, no, you go put it on a shelf. You enjoy it. You look at it. <clears throat> so I do not have that item to show you. You know, once in a while I do something like that. And I don't even, and then like afterwards I was like, I eh, could have made some money. And they're like, no, 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 you did the right thing. So some, some people will say, well, he's probably just telling you a story. I don't care. I still did the right thing. And, you know, it was fine. I'm always fine and stuff. So <clears throat> I thought that was my most valuable item until I looked up the wallpaper. And then I realized, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So other things I got. I saw this and, you know, you get things in the thrift store. Everything, for the most part, is a little bit, a little bit beat up. You know, a little bit seen better days kind of thing. And when I picked this up, it looked like that. But then the mirror, I think, is supposed to be this way. It's a Guildmaster made in Indonesia. So it's not an old piece. <clears throat> but the mirror really sold it for me. It's dirty, but see how it's all speckled like the old mirrors? And this is all kind of rusty and got some patina on it. I just thought that was awesome. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pick that up. It has a... Where you could take the uh, you could take the mirror out, but I just love that. So of course I'll clean it all up, and uh, I'll pro probably put this in my booth for I'd say probably fourteen bucks. I'm guessing off the top of my head. I know I go to tell you guys that sometimes, and then I completely forget. Now usually I have everything, and I'm like, oh that's interesting, or oh I think that'll sell, and then I show you, and I say, oh I don't know, I'm gonna have to look that up. But I'm ahead of the game this time because I did look these things up. <clears throat> looked up the wallpaper and then I looked up this item because it has a sticker on it and when I looked it up I was surprised at how much it was so it is made out of this galvanized metal and the top is not supposed to come uh, I think it had a I looked it up and it had like a little plug or something so that doesn't come out but it's this galvanized metal the whole thing's metal uh, uh, windmill. Isn't that awesome? I thought, wow, that's really cute. That'll sell. It's great. It was $2.99. So again, when we talk about thrift stores making money, uh, they sell mostly, uh, the majority of what they sell and makes up their income is clothes. So it seems to me that Savers is on to this and they're kind of like, ah, just throw a price on it. So unless it's like a name brand or it really looks expensive, they won't put a high price on it. So I looked this up because it's got a little, it's got a little sticker there that's, uh, that's, I'm going to look it up here again, let me, or just look at it. I had to use my magnifying glass. It's spelled K-A-R-E-D-O-N. Uh, and it says it's made in Lincoln, Nebraska. So I looked this up on eBay by just that name. And from what I've seen on there, there's only three listed. And it says that it was a, this is a vintage toy. But 
mainly the only ones were like the salesman, like what he would show. So I don't know how true that is, but the prices online on eBay for the three or four that were there, one was $99, the lowest one was $39.99. So the shipping alone would be, you know, a little bit more expensive. It's not necessarily heavy, but it is, you know, it is, oh, it's got spider webs on it. But I thought, you know what, I'm probably just going to put this in my booth for probably $25 to $30. We'll see how it does there. I can always change my mind and list it. But I just was really taken with it. Even if this, let's say this wouldn't have been listed, it wouldn't have been worth anything, I still probably would have put 20, 25 bucks on this because it's very, very cool. Now the, the fan thing was very flat, so you basically just had to kind of turn them, you know, so you get that spin on there. So and it's even got the little ladder where the guy walks up to work on it. Oh, just taken with that. So I paid basically like two dollars and twenty cents for this thing so that was a good find very happy with that i don't know you just see stuff you get it after a while you get an eye and you look and you think that's got to be worse off um something i did get for uh for uh, beans is i saw this and i thought holy cow that's a big kong toy these are like usually rubberized and you can put treats or peanut butter or you know anything in them uh, for the dogs to chew on. This one was $4.49 minus, of course, 20%. It's got this little hole in it. It's plastic. So in the bottom is weighted. So no matter which way it goes. So this is uh, a puzzle. So you put little treats in there and then you put it on the floor and then let the dog push it around and then the treats come out of the side. So I am going to try this on beans. Hopefully, after I get it washed up and cleaned up and sanitized and everything. But I will try it. Maybe I'll even get some footage. But she has another puzzle that's about the size of a dinner plate. And it has a couple little, like, little doors and switches and things. So you put treats in there. And she has figured that one out. And, you know, I don't pull it out very often because I know it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. I went through all of it and I ate all the pieces. So maybe I'll start with that one and then go to this one. So she's like, oh, this is, this is a treat. This is kind of a fun thing. We'll see. Um, I looked through the purses. I don't know. The purses there were pretty sparse. Pretty picked over. I did find this uh, kitty cat one. It is a Bungalow 360. If you've never heard of that, they make a lot of nice little canvas uh, wallets, bags, like tote bags. And they always have very cute designs. I had one for years that had, I think, whales on it. But usually it's a repetitive pattern of some sort. So I thought that was just too adorable. And the inside is this pink polka dot or coral polka dots with a zip. And it's basically a wristlet. So I thought that was kind of adorable. I only paid $3.99 minus, what, 80 cents? 20, 40, 60, 80. So there's that. Um, these, I don't know, I paid a little more than I probably should have, but they're so cute, you know. Cute is my word. Uh, little piggies, salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they adorable? And these say the country collection. There is a TJ Maxx, and then there was a clearance sticker that was taken off. But I'll probably just take these guys out and price them. They were $4.49, so $20, $40, $60, $85, $90, $95, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1
Uh, I got two bags of stuff. I'm trying to look around. I didn't have a lot, but I did have some. Oh, yeah, I do have this stuff. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I went ahead and looked it up because I thought, I wonder, it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of my booth. But I thought I'll look it up and see. And these are selling anywhere from $25 to $40, <laughs> even used. So, and it's in perfect condition. There's, you know, there's no broken part or anything. The bottom inside's a little bit dirty, but I can do that. I can clean that up. So this also was for $49. So this will be going on eBay. It'll just be a bigger box. That'll be the biggest shipping part of it. So not too bad. So let me get my goodies out. I wrapped some stuff in fabric. So yeah, the bottom's a little bit dirty, but yeah, nothing that can't be easily fixed. So I thought that was a good deal. Now all this fabric was <clears throat> on one hanger with one price. So it was $1.99 and there's three pieces. So there's this countryish blue with the hearts. There's probably a yard or so on there. Uh, this pretty pink flowers on a blue background. And then this one. So I figure for $1.99 minus what, 40 cents, $1.50, it was worth it. If the pieces are kind of small, I could always do a grab bag. I still do a few of the uh, fabric grab bags. I kind of save them up till I have a basket where I can put them all in there and then put it in my space. I have sold this before. I currently have a wine, um, a uh, wine display set up. This was three forty nine, and it says, "Let's see, finally a wine glass that fits my needs." Isn't that cute? So I thought that was adorable. So I'll probably put eight bucks on that, take it out to my booth. This is cute. I was thinking about giving it to my daughter because she likes this kind of stuff, but I'll probably just sell it. Um, this is all in uh, Chinese, I'm guessing. This was $4.49, and it is this little kit, so you can make these little puffy uh, sandwiches. Aren't they adorable? You know, mom will end up eating the outside and then the kid eats the fun stuff. So you could do anything with that. You could put a little bit of, you know, like a little pizza sauce and a little pepperoni in there and then cook them. Or you could put peanut butter or jelly or whatever. So the only thing on English in this whole thing is, let's cooking. <laughs> so I just thought that was adorable. Still new in package. So I'll look this up, but I just was taken with that. And it was so cute. I don't have any grandkids yet to be buying stuff like this for. Someday. <laughs> These were probably a, a teeny bit more than I usually pay. Well, not that much with the discount. These glasses were $2.49 each, so I got $20, $0.45. So I paid like two. I usually don't pay more than one or two for my Lucky Bamboo. Um, these were, uh, you could tell. Now, I heard... There is a specific term for this, and if you know it, please let me know, because I heard it and I said, that's interesting, and then went off and forgot it. So when they're doing the hand-blown glass, and at the end where they bust the pipe, you know, what they're twirling it on, that leaves this mark. So that is called something. Don't know. But these are two pretty glasses, and I thought they would be really nice for my Lucky Bamboo. So $5 and, you know basically a dollar off so I paid four for the two of them so those will go into my lucky bamboo I got a bin so whenever I find any containers I just put them in there and then when it comes time to make them I just dig through and pull some out and off I go what else what else I got two bags of stuff and I believe that is all I got these are our water bottles that we use I do not buy the plastic ones anymore because uh, nobody wants to be lifting all those anymore. Plus, you know, it's better for the planet. So I brought this one in because I filled up. I have a little uh, thing that does the mist. And then I watered my plant, which was looking very tired. Because I always forget she's in here. Okay, so I got two bags. One is Christmas. Um, one had something in it that I really, really wanted. And then the rest all sell. And then these are fishies. So this was $2.99. And I think they have the, you know, well, they're all in a big tangle. 
Maybe they're supposed to be in twos. I don't know, but I thought that would be cute for my nautical stuff. This is quite a knot. I will take the time later to untangle that because usually they're in twos. Okay, this one was $4.99, so I basically got what? You know, do the math. So in all this little goodies, I saw something in here, and I have one that's upstairs. I haven't brought her down from my office yet, but I have a couple of like ornaments that are my, uh, my fat art. So when I saw this lady, I have a, I have a larger one in a different color, and she's this little chunky mermaid with a drink. Isn't she adorable? So the other one I have, I think, is by the same artist, and it, uh, it, but she's in green. Isn't that cute. Oh, look at her. So that I got mainly for myself. The rest of these. Um, I've told you about my mystery grab bags. I do them in men's, women, and then I've been kind of just, if I find stuff at the bins, the Goodwill bins by the pound, I'll just, I have a bin or box downstairs, I've just been throwing this in, and then I'll make up a whole bunch of these, probably in October, and start putting them out. So I'm going to run through these really quick, because they're not necessarily, ex you know, really expensive, marvelous, weird, wonderful uh, I think these are ornaments. Yes, we have uh, we have Ernie, but no Bert, and a big bird. Uh, we have this little car. I think it's a milk truck. Looks like somebody handmade that little snowman. This is cute too. This little sled with a snowman on it. A uh, little Dalmatian dog, or maybe more than one. Does he have a place to hang him up, or is he just a figure? Yeah, oh, there, so I got two of those. Another little snowman. I'm hoping I'm not going to run out of time. You, this video's going to be long. You know how I am, because I do want to talk about some. I got this heart, uh, point setta, or do you say point setia? Depends on where you are. This little angel, this little star. Oh, this little popper. A little Santa Claus pin. Uh, Teacher's Rule 2009. Another little snowflake. And then there's a whole bunch of these. Some of them, this one's got a name on it. This one says Joshua. This one says Grandma. This one says Mark. This one just has, looks like Raggedy Ann and Andy. Uh, this one just has some kids, another snowman, and then another little handmade snowman. Oops, got a ribbon. This one says mom. I got this one. She's baking cookies. A, uh, a little, um, oh, that's so cute. It's got a little gingerman on the mitten and then a candy cane. And then we have another little, little, uh, go close pin. Oh, we took that on so cute. There's another one. And then this one, we have a bell on a snowman. That one's cute. <clears throat> it's a whale. <laughs> Sequined whale. We have an L, looks like Laverne and Shirley. You remember that? She used to have an L on all her clothes. I'm showing my age. Oh, there's a little <coughs> snowman. And a little wooden heart. And that's it. So I got all that for $4.99. So basically 20% off. I guess that's it. So let's jump right into the quick rant that I want to do. There's no safe place to do this rant. <laughs> Um, I've been running uh, an antique booth talk group. It's called Antique Booth Talk, and it is a group on Facebook. If you, I know I've mentioned it on here. If you'd love to come join us, <laughs> especially after I tell you all this, <clears throat> you are more than welcome. We have almost twenty-four thousand people in there, and it's a <clears throat> it's a fun group. There's two admins. We're looking to get some moderators. 
So if you, if you let me know in the bottom, in the comments, are you on that? Do you have a booth? You know, do you partake in that? Or maybe you know kind of what I'm talking about. But I guess this is a vid bigger video topic. But the, the <clears throat> it's getting to be such a problem on there that anytime anybody posts anything that is not 100 years old or vintage, people lose their mind. And it is, it is, it is elitist behavior and it's, it's very bothersome to me. Uh, the group says, the name of it, Antique Booth Talk, underneath, vintage, antique to modern, resellers. So it's for anybody who sells in a physical space. You have a flea market and you like it to look nice, we're for you. You sell only high-end antiques in New York City, we might be for you too. And everyone in between, which is me, we're for everybody. And when people start talking about different places they source or, hey, I'm going to buy some things from Timu to sell in my booth. You know, whether you choose to do that or not, that's completely, completely up to you. Whatever you want to sell, whatever. No problem. Don't care. But there are people on this group that are so... Like, I put a post up of my wine uh, display I had worked for literally two hours on it. I was very proud of it. I wanted to show it in the booth or in the booth talk group. And I posted a picture and the first comment on it was, it appears to be all new merchandise, which it is an all new merchandise. But still, the, the comment or the dig there was, why, why are you selling that? We're only selling old things and unique things. And it's like, it, it irks me. So if you're on that group and you see me, by the time I step into a thread, I'm kind of pissed off. I'm just going to tell you. I go in there and I'm like, look, this is for everybody. We are not an elitist group. It, there's people who uh, will only, like, in there will only set up once a month. I mean, it's for everybody. If you sell in a physical space, you can learn something. You can learn how to stage. You can learn what sells. You can see what other people are doing. Or, hey, I have a whole bunch of this. How would you display it? It's a very good and helpful group. But when it gets down to these people who are so elitist and they only want, you know, oh, well, I only sell antiques. Good for you. I'm glad it's working for you. Then you get people on there that go, I have sold antiques for 40 years and sales are nothing. I'm not making my rent. And people are like, well, maybe you should add a little vintage or maybe a little this or a little greenery or, oh, no, I, oh, I won't do that. So uh, the thought is it's to be a community for everybody. And when people get on there and even makes, you know, when I, when I comment, one, maybe half of the time it will say admin on it. So, you know, I'm one of the people that, that started the group. It's me and Tanya Sheets, who's also here on YouTube. Hi, Tanya. But uh, it's to the point now when I put something up, it doesn't, it like a post, it didn't say admin. And then I have that. And then I, I, I hate the thought of... Pulling the, you know, well, don't you know who I am? But sometimes in my group, I have to do the do you know who I am? Because people are like, well, I don't know why you're posting that here. That's not what this group was started for, and that's not what it's about. Not that all British people are snotty, but you get what I'm saying. So then I have to say, I started this group with one other person. I am one of the founders of this group. I have sold maybe five antiques in my entire reselling career, if that. I sell mostly vintage and home decor and some new and some old. I like to mix it all together. Now, that being said, there are uh, rules for certain malls. You know, a mall can say 80% oh, needs to be antique or 80% needs to be vintage and then the rest can be whatever. So, I mean, if, if you're in a space or in a mall where that's the only thing that's allowed, you knew that when you signed up, that's what you want to do. Now the dogs are going to start. It's probably the mailman. 
Hang on. I think I heard a doorbell. Okay, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I had something that I had a lady coming by to pick up something on Marketplace. People do show up. It's scary. So basically, I guess it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated in my group. Um, it seems like things will go along swimmingly for like weeks or even a month and then somebody will put something on there and <clears throat> there's a certain amount, I'm not sure how Facebook works as far as pushing things to the admin page to, hey, you gotta look at this, hey, you gotta look at this before you, you know, before it posts, but usually it's with pictures, sometimes it isn't and uh, I'll see a post and I'm like, wow, that's a very interesting question or I think the, the group could benefit from that. But I know, depending on what it is, I know it's going to be the proverbial crap hit in the fan because there's people going to pop off about it. We had an issue with, uh, I'll just leave this as an example because I'm at 30 minutes and you guys are probably tired of listening to me yap and more or less tired of hearing me complain. <laughs> But um, uh, there was a post about um, during Pride Month for LGBTQ. Now, whether you agree with that, whether you disagree with that, whether you, you, you hate it, you loathe it, or you're part of the community, I, I, I'm putting all opinions aside and saying that this post was about a person selling uh, Pride flags and other Pride gear in his space beautiful display it was set up really nice and but I knew I knew as soon as I hit approve this post that people were going to be losing their minds but the point is no matter what you think about it no matter what I think about it no matter what anybody in the group thinks it it doesn't matter it was about a person showing a display of things they were selling in their booth it wasn't hey you know, hey, look at this thing. Look, wow, you know, this is me. This is who I am. I want you to like me. It wasn't anything like that. There's also lots of religious posts that are put up. You know, I have this display of crosses that I'm selling. And oh, blah, blah, blah. Less on that than on the LGBTQ. But nevertheless, we've had to make another rule. Look, you're not allowed to talk about politics. You're not allowed to talk about uh, religious, religion things, unless it is directly involving sales, display with your booth, then absolutely you can show it, talk about it, do whatever you want to do. And people were losing their mind, especially in the pride one. And I, I know people and I love people that are in the community. And it upset me because it was... I mean, you go from everybody should enjoy it, everybody needs to in, be a, in agreement with this, to like the opposite end of the spectrum was like, you're going to burn in hell. I mean, it was nasty, 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 nasty. And I'm just like, if anybody posts anything that I don't personally believe in or agree with, if it has to do with the subject matter of the group, it is approved. It's fine. I want people to feel free to do that without being dogpiled and, you know, harassed and made fun of and all that. And to think that there's so many groups or adults, adults, adults in this group and they can't, they can't get that through their thick head. I just don't understand it. I mean, I, like I said, I have people in my family and people I love that are in the community. I have, I have been around people in the community and I, I just couldn't understand, you know, the amount of, of vitriol that came with this, with these posts. And I just had one this morning, but this one was about Timu. Somebody was like, hey, I've been selling... Uh, stickers in my booth from Timu and and what else can I sell that's on there and you would have think people were like well I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sell like you know I, I don't know I don't even know what to use as an example it, 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 it's terrible and I tell you I have come this close to just walking away from the group because it's I, as much as I love it <clears throat> 
In the beginning, it was more of a, I was participating, and it seems now like I am a policeman. That's all I do, is I go into my phone, okay, I go through who, you know, people approval, because <clears throat> you have to fill out some questions before you come in, so I have to yes or no those, and then I go through the other ones. But as soon as I see one that I know is gonna cause a problem, I am automatically go in, and sometimes now I go and say, mean comments in this stream or in this post will not be accepted. If you are nasty or mean, I, I will, I, I'll delete you. That's all there is to it. I'll kick you out of the group. And then you get people, well, well why would you say that? It's, I mean, you just like be a negative already. And it's like, I'm just trying to head it off at the pass, which is never going to happen. So I don't know. I, this year, this year, I don't have my motto up. I have a little chalkboard over there. I I am not going to do things that that take more from me than give to me. Now that, that I don't want that to sound like mean like well you know you ain't doing enough for me I ain't going to be your friend or anything like that. It's just I I want to expend my energy for my family and for my business and for my YouTube and I want to do those things but I don't want to be beat over the head anymore. I don't accept it in my personal life. And I'm not going to accept it online. I, I mean, honestly, it's 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 lost a lot of its joy. And I'm now that I say that, I'm I'm looking for more moderators because we need at least two or three more people who are going to be able to go in and check, and you know approve or dis you know disallow people in the group, and approve or remove comments. And I'm, I'm there because if we don't get a couple more people here soon, I mean, I don't want to dump this on Tanya and just say, here, it's, you know, it's your problem now. <laughs> because, I mean, I know she's working just as hard as I am to, you know, do your job and do videos and have a YouTube channel. And she has a family and she has kids and, you know, all of us do. And it's, we're trying to balance our work and, and what we share on this platform. You know, I don't share a, a, a ton of personal things, but I, I like to do that a little bit more, and I find myself doing that more. And I just wanted to get this out of my system for a minute at 37 minutes and say, that was upsetting. That is upsetting. And, <clears throat> you know, I tell people, they're like, well, oh, this group is run. I just, I don't know, I could stay here with all, you're allowing all these comments. There are literally almost 25,000 people in here, and there are literally hundreds of thousands of comments. Do you think I have time, or Tanya has time, or any one human being has time to go through every thread, every post, every comment, every reply, and say, oh, oh, oh take this... You know, if it's a if it's a hot topic one like this Timu one was this morning, I went in and I was like, get rid of, get rid of, remove, remove, remove. Not people, but their posts. And I, I tell you, I'm I'm just to a point where everything rolls along pretty good, and I'm like, yeah, 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 we're fine. And then the the proverbial poop hits the fan, and we're off to the races. Literally hundreds and hundreds of comments of vile, vile, nasty shit going on. Sorry. Nasty stuff happening. Well, we're far enough in the video, I think. My, my monetization will be fine. But there you go. And I, I, I don't understand. Why can't we all just be adults? Why can't we all be adults? You know, and it's funny. I, I'll close with this thought. My daughter, she's so smart. She said, sadly, the, the Internet has become an echo chamber of stupidity. And that if you are a village idiot and you're the village idiot, there's not village idiots, there's one vi village idiot. Now the internet, all the village idiots can get on and talk to each other and they're all together and they're all, yeah, you're right, this is horrible, blah, blah, blah. So it is an echo chamber of stupidity. It's like, you know, all the people who think that the earth is flat or whatever. And if you believe that, I don't want to talk about it. But the fact is... People, you know, you'd hear people thinking, oh, I, I think there's, you know, a sea monster in Lake Erie. And everybody's like, okay, whatever. But then you get 20, 30, 40, 100 people, and they're all like, yeah, yeah, we've seen it. And everybody's off, off to the races. So I understand that, and there's people who 
are able to express themselves or be nasty in a way that most people can't. You know, it's if somebody's right in your face and they're like, you know what, this and that, then you're like, oh, okay, whatever. But when you get behind the keyboard and that anonymity, you know, people just start firing off and it's, it's just upsetting. I just, I know, I, I kept thinking, you know, the larger the group, the group gets, the more problems we're going to have. But that being said, it's, you hope that people will be adults. But I guess that's not going to do. So I'm going to be reaching out to some of our top contributors and people who are, you know, commenting and active and see if they're interested in maybe modding because we need at least two more people because I, I can't, I just can't, I can't, I just can't. And, you know, it's hard because the, the right, the rightness in me is like, this post is going to cause a big, it's like taking a, a hand grenade and throwing it into a crowd of people. You know, you know that there's mass chaos is going to ensue, but I see the validity of what they're posting and I see what they're doing is something that needs to be shared. And I share it because I think it's important for the group to see that. But knowing that, I still let things go through because why should I stop somebody's comment when they have something positive and something to contribute to the group? That's, that might be valuable or help someone or let people know, you know, you can display these items. They might be controversial. Did, do, you know, there's other people that are like, yeah, you can do that. It's great. And, uh, you know, it's important and it needs to be done. And I guess I just need to get on, get it on finding somebody else, some other people and stop complaining about it because I need the help. I really do. Because I don't, if I ever decide to leave the group, it's going to be, it's going to be left in a good place and it's going to be left better than I found it. And that's the way I do things. I don't just cut and run. But I tell you, this does consume a certain amount of my mental energy. And it's, it's, at times it's not worth the cost. Does that make sense? So y'all are cheaper than therapy. If you've made it this far, you, uh, you're you amazing. So let me know, what did you like in my haul today? <laughs> and what do you think? I mean, you know, I'm sure if you're on Facebook at all, you get a certain amount of that going on too. You know, I mean, you get, you get that and you understand that, you know, sometimes I'm going to post something and people are going to dogpile. But to have... You know, to for me, an admin, a creator of this group, to post, hey, look what I did. And to have the first two comments be someone jumping on my butt. Oh, it's not old. I'm done. <laughs> Times I'm done. Okay, well, I will wrap it up. You guys go enjoy the rest of your day you have left since I wasted 43 minutes of it. But I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to me and even just sounding off to a camera looking at my own reflection. It feels a little better. So cheers. Drink your water. I'll see you next time. Bye.